Okay, let's get uh, started. Um, thanks for coming to the uh, press conference at FCCJ. Uh, my name is uh, Tetsuo Jimbo. Um, I'm, I'm your moderator today, and I'm also uh, the director of this club. And uh, um, today's guest um, is uh, uh, Mr. Yusuke Katayama. He's uh, my, on my immediate, immediate right. And uh, next to him is uh, uh, Mr. Hiroshi Sato, his lawyer. And uh, just give you a very, very brief uh, introduction um, <clears throat> for those who are not familiar uh, with the case. I don't know if there's anyone who is not familiar with this case in, in this room, but uh, just in case. Um, it is a criminal case uh, where Mr. Katayama is uh, charged with uh, obstruction, of, uh, obstruction of business and uh, other, other crimes. And that was it. back in uh, 2012, uh, there was a series of postings on the internet, on the website of uh, municipalities, namely Yokohama City, and some uh, kindergarten, uh, and also companies, um, where there was a sort of a threatening uh, messages uh, were posted. Said, it said, uh, uh, whoever wrote this will kill everyone, harm everyone there, uh, kill kids, and uh, destroy, destroy them and all. Um, and uh, uh, police traced the IP address of those postings and uh, found four people. They actually arrested those four. And they found out that uh, there was actually uh, traces of those postings in their computers, home computers. Uh, so actually the uh, postings were made from that computers of the four people. Uh, but uh, it, 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 it took a sort of strange turn after that. Um, those four people's computers were actually infected by a so-called remote controlled virus. And uh, whoever spread the virus um, took over, took control of the uh, computers that was infected by the virus and uh, uh, made the postings through their computers um, so that those four people had no knowledge. And they were not even aware that their computers were uh, remotely controlled. Um, so it turned out to be a wrongful arrest. and. Uh, Surprisingly, two of them actually confessed or forced into con you know, conf confession uh, for the crimes that they didn't commit. So it's, uh, it kind of shows uh, another problem uh, in this, uh, this whole process. But anyway, uh, so those four people were innocent. Then um, there was also a series of emails uh, started uh, uh, coming from uh, the, this uh, perpetrator or the, the, the true true criminal. Uh, the information in the email contained something that only uh, that perpetrator could know. So uh, it, 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 it is regarded as a genuine. And emails came to um, some lawyers and also actually came to uh, my program that I, I was hosting at, for TBS radio and also some uh, other media organizations. And uh, basically, the email said it was uh, the mocking the police. Uh, uh, th this this person inten intentionally uh, spread the virus, took off, took control over the computers of others, and made those uh, threatening postings and testing police ability to uh, to trust them and so forth. And then um, last February, police uh, arrested Mr. Katema as the uh, true criminal, alleged true criminal. He's the one who mastermind everything. Um, and he, uh, they, of course, they found the traces of remote control virus in his uh, computer. It, has, it was actually a computer in the office that he worked for. Um, and Mr. Katayama, too, uh, insists that he has no knowledge of the postings and his computers computer was remotely controlled as well. Uh, and, but the, he, they arrested him and actually they held him for 13 months uh, and trial began um, this, uh, this year. Actually, it, trial began in March. And uh, uh, it is actually in the, in the middle of the, this criminal uh, court case. 
but uh, I thought this is very, uh, I've been actually covering this issue uh, since its eruption, uh, very early stage. Um, and uh, I thought that this is very important case um, in the sense that it could jeopardize the uh, sort of fundamental principle of uh, uh, presumption of innocence. Uh, the lawyers now have to prove that his computers were remotely con controlled or he's a criminal. So the lawyers are now placed in a position where he, they have to crime the innocence of uh, the, uh, their client rather than prosecutors having to prove that it was done by him. So uh, um, I thought it was an important case and it's, uh, although it is in the middle of the uh, court, court process, I thought it's, uh, it's worth uh, hearing what they have to say. So uh, uh, I'm uh, proud to <coughs> present Mr. Katayama and uh, Mr. Sato. And Mr. Katayama, uh, Katayama Sato. Uh, Mr. Sato, of course, uh, you know he's the uh, he's well known as the uh, lawyer for Mr. Sugaya uh, in the uh, Ashikaga Jiken, Ashikaga, uh, Ashikaga case. Uh, he won the uh, retrial and won the uh, not guilty verdict of uh, Mr. Sugaya. So Mr. Sato will ma uh, make a brief speech first, and then uh, Mr. Uh, Katayama uh, will follow. Uh, so thank you very much, Mr. Sato. それではパソコン遠隔操作事件で主任弁護人を務めている佐藤博史です。本日は外国特派員の皆さんに事件について説明する機会を与えていただきありがとうございます。Good afternoon. My name is Hiroshi Sato, and I am the chief defense lawyer of the so-called remote control virus case.、Um, thank you for the opportunity to be here today to explain this case to the foreign correspondents and members of the press here today. 現在、裁判は東京地方裁判所の刑事第4部に継続し、検察官による立証が続けられている最中ですけれども、被告人の片山雄介さんの無実はますます明らかになっています。So the trial is currently underway at the Tokyo District Court's fourth criminal division, and the prosecutor is currently in the midst of presenting the evidence. However, within this process, the innocence of the defendants, Yusuke Katayama, is becoming more and more clear. しかし、事件の事実関係の詳細をお話しする時間的な余裕はありませんので、本日はこの事件が日本社会にとってどのような意味を持っているのかについてお話ししたいと思います。So today there is not sufficient time to explain the specifics of this case itself, so I would like to instead speak about the meaning of this case for Japanese society. さて、2012年6月から9月にかけて、学校、イベント会場、日本航空などに殺人や爆破を予告する脅迫メールが合計14通届きました。これらの脅迫メールは複数のコンピューターから送信されたものでしたが、警察はメールの IP アドレスを手がかりに送信元のコンピューターを特定し、4人の男性を逮捕しました。そしてうち2人は自白しました。So between June and September in 2012, a total of 14 threats of murder or bombings were sent by email to schools, event venues, Japan Airlines and so on. Uh, these email threats were sent from multiple computers, and yet the police arrested four men on the basis of identification of their IP addresses as having sent these emails. Two of these four men sub subsequently confessed to the crime. ところが、2012年10月、真犯人から4人のパソコンを遠隔操作して脅迫メールを送信したという犯行声明メールが報道機関などに届き、4人の5人逮捕が明らかになりました。そこで4つの県警本部、東京の警視庁、大阪府警、神奈川県警、三重県警は2012年12月、5人逮捕を認め、4人に謝罪しました。However, in October of 2012, the real perpetrator sent a declaration by email to the media and other locations, indicating that he had sent these threatening emails through the four men's computers by remote control operations. Thus, it became clear that all four individuals had been wrongfully arrested. The four involve prefectural police headquarters, that is the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, the Osaka Prefectural Police Department, the Kanagawa Prefectural Police, and the Mia Prefectural Police Headquarters. Admitted these wrongful arrests in December of 2012, and following this, they made an apology to the four individuals. ところが2013年1月、犯人から江ノ島の猫に遠隔操作ウイルスのソースコードを保存した SD カードをつけた首輪をつけたというメールが届き、実際に猫の首輪から SD カードが回収されました。そしてその猫に接した片山さんの映像が江ノ島の防犯カメラに残されていたことから片山さんが真犯人であるとして逮捕・起訴されたのです。
However, in the following January of 2013, the culprit sent an email saying that he had attached an SD memory card containing the source codes of the remote control virus to the collar of a cat on the island of Enoshima. And this SD card was in fact actually retrieved from the cat's collar. <coughs> from footage taken from a security camera on Enoshima showing Mr. Kat, uh, Katayama interacting with this cat, Mr. Katayama was subsequently arrested and then prosecuted as the so-called real culprit. リアルな世界で犯罪を繰り返していた間は安全圏にいたけれども図に乗ってリアルな世界に姿を現したためについに逮捕された言葉を変えるとニッポンの警察はバーチャルな世界では捜査に失敗したがリアルな世界での伝統
The evidence in this case in question was also first presented in paper form. 本件で担当する裁判官は、本件を担当する裁判官は3人ですが、せいぜいパソコンを使いこなすことができる程度の能力しかないと思います。そのような裁判官にサイバー犯罪を正しく裁けるでしょうか。裁判官だけでなく、弁護士もサイバー犯罪に関する知識が著しく不足しています。そこで私たちは、IT の専門家に特別弁護人になってもらい、デジタルデータの解析をしてもらっています。つまり日本には特別弁護人の制度はありますが、しかし、裁判官には専門的補助者を認める制度はありません。So、in this case, there are three judges responsible, and I believe that their capacity in terms of computers is probably just for minimal average use. But is it possible for such judges to be able to correctly try a case relating specifically to cyber crimes? And this is not only for judges, but of course, lawyers also、uh, severely lack the expert knowledge in relation to or needed for cyber crimes. In this case, we have thus appointed an IT expert as a special defense counsel who is analyzing the digital data. However, while in Japan there is a system to appoint special defense counsel, there is no such system in place to approve of expert assistance for judges. 第2に、4つの警察本部による4人の5人逮捕事件という衝撃的な出来事の反動というべきですが、片山さんの逮捕は片山さんを完全に犯人視した報道によって報じられました。片山さんの逮捕を豪快で報じた新聞社もあります。読売新聞です。片山さんの逮捕から3日後に弁護人になった私は圧倒的な有罪行動に対抗して、片山さんは無視である旨の情報を発信してきました。And、secondly, should be the shocking fact that four individuals were wrongly arrested by the four prefectural police headquarters in this case. And yet, after Mr. Katayama's arrest, media reports completely, or completely portrayed him as if he were the culprit. There was actually even a newspaper which issued a special edition reporting Mr. Katayama's arrest. And this was the Yomiuri Shimbun. I became Mr. Katayama's defense lawyer three days after his arrest, and going against the overwhelming reporting which was presenting him completely as being guilty, have continued to put forward information showing Mr. Katayama's innocence. Katayama さんは猫が好きですが、逮捕と同時に Katayama さんが猫カフェで猫と戯れている写真がいくつかの新聞に掲載され、週刊誌などでは今なお片山さんは猫男などと呼ばれていますこうして日本で以前から繰り返し指摘されてきた記者クラブ制を含む捜査当局のリークに基づく被疑者被告人を犯罪視した報道のあり方も改めて問われています、uh, Mr. 片山 likes cats and at the time of his arrest photographs of him playing with cats at a cat cafe were published in several newspapers and weekly magazines or tabloids and so on even now refer to Mr. 片山 as cat man This causes us to once again question the stance of the media reporting, which is based on leaks from the authorities, including the press club system, which portrays the accused or defendant as guilty, and which has been repeatedly pointed out or questioned in the past also. Reporting must be based on the truth. And yet, the state of the media reporting in Japan, which has fallen to the level of just passing on without criticism or without critically analyzing information which the authorities present to be the truth, must now be again questioned. The Daisan Ni Honken wa Torishirabe no Lokon Lokua wa Nan no Tame ni Aru no Kao Aratame te Kangai Sase Ru Keki ni Narimash. Watakusta Ti Bengo Ni wa Sosa Dankai de Torishirabe o Zenbu Lokon Lokua Sleba Katayama san wa Torishirabe ni Ojiru Shikamo Mokhion Koshi Shinai. So s t e 被疑者の初期供述こそが大事だから、何としても片山さんを録音録画した上で取り調べてほしいと一貫して訴えてきました。しかし、警察も検察も本件が可視化対象事件ではないという理由から取り調べの録音録画を拒否し、その結果、片山さんを取り調べることもせず、状況証拠だけに基づいて片山さんを起訴したのです。And the third point is that this case is proving an opportunity to reconsider the purpose of sound and visual recordings of interviews or interrogations. Right from the investigation stage, we as the defense counsel continued to request and appeal that if the interviews were all recorded, then Mr. Katayama would cooperate with the questioning, he would not use the right to silence, and that because the initial statement itself of the accused is so important that Mr. Katayama himself wanted to be interviewed while under recording. However, both the police and the prosecutors continue to refuse to record the interviews for the reason given that this case is not one applicable for such recording. As a result, Mr. Katayama was not interviewed and he is now being prosecuted based only on circumstantial evidence. 検察官は例えばデジタルデータの解析のために民間の鑑定機関に1000万円を超える支払いをしています。本件の捜査のために支出されたお金の総額はすでに数億円を超えており、今なお
、片山さんを有罪にするために、警察、検察は巨額な費用を投じ続けています。So the prosecutors are for now, for example, paying more than 10 million Japanese yen to a civil expert agency to analyze the digital data. And the amount which has spent, been spent on this investigation exceeds several hundred million Japanese yen. Now, in order to find or to have Mr. Katayama found guilty, the police and the prosecutors are continuing to invest huge expenses into this case. しかし、取り調べを録音,録音録画して、被疑者の供述を冷静に分析すれば、被疑者が真犯人かそうでないのかの判断は容易なはずです。取り調べを録音録画して、被疑者の供述を分析するための費用はせいぜい数十万円です。現在、日本では取り調べの録音録画をどのような事件でどのよう、どの範囲で行うべきかが議論されています。しかし、IT 技術が発達した現在、すべての事件で、目撃者など参考人を含むすべての取り調べを録音、録画することは極めて容易なのに、日本の警察、検察はそうしようとはしていません。However, if the interviews had been conducted with recording and the statement of the accused had been calmly analyzed at this stage, the judgment of whether the accused is in fact the real culprit or not should have been simple. The expense required to record the interview and analyze the accused statement would have only been in the amount of several tens of thousands of yen. Debate is now underway on what cases should be applicable for interviews to be recorded in Japan and to what scope this should be done. However, with IT as developed as it is today, it would be extremely simple for all interviews, including with witnesses and others, to be recorded. Yet the Japanese police and prosecutors are not making any moves to do so. In order to prevent the wrongful arrest or prosecution of innocent people, all interviews, including those with witnesses or other people involved, should be recorded. The wrongful arrest of the four individuals and the false confessions of two of them should show us this. However, the Japanese police and prosecutors are not learning from this mistake, but rather they are even failing to notice that they are conducting a new wrongful arrest and prosecution. パソコン遠隔捜査事件が重大事件になったのは、4つの警察本部が4人を誤っ5人逮捕したからです。ところが警察の過ちは小さくなるどころか、まるで雪だるまのようにますます大きくなっています。日本の警察検察が暴走に暴走を重ね、今なお暴走を続けている事件、それがパソコン遠隔操作事件です。The so-called remote control virus case has become such a large incident because of the five arrests by police headquarters in these four prefectures. However, rather than the police reducing this mistake, they are instead continuing, or the case is continuing to snowball and become larger and larger. The Japanese police and prosecutors in this case are continuing to push forward more and more recklessly. 犯人はパソコンを遠隔操作するためにアメリカのドロップボックスのサーバーを用いたことが分かっています。そのため,そのため日本の警察庁はアメリカの FBI に捜査協力を求めました。つまり本件捜査は国際的に行われましたが、その結果は果たして世界に誇ることができるのか、そのことも真剣に問われています。In order to conduct the remote control activities, it's understood that the culprit used a US based Dropbox server. For that purpose, the Japanese National Police Agency sought cooperation in the investigation from the United States FBI. Thus, the investigation in this case was being carried out internationally. However, it's now seriously questioned whether the results of this are something for which we can indeed show pride to the world. The first thing that I want to say is that Katayama is a very good thing. その理由はいくつも挙げることができますが、例えば本件で用いられたトロイ型のマルウェアを片山さんは一から作成したとされています。しかし、片山さんはプログラマーですが、マルウェアに関する知識もセキュリティに関する知識も全くありません。しかも片山さんの自宅や会社のパソコンには、マルウェアやセキュリティに関するサイトにアクセスした履歴も、マルウェアを開発した履歴も残っていませんでした。The fourth point, and the one which I would like to most emphasize, is that Mr. Katayama is completely innocent. Several reasons can be given for this. For example, it is being claimed that Mr. Katayama created the Trojan malware used in this case from scratch. However, while he is a programmer, Mr. Katayama has absolutely no knowledge in regards to malware or in regards to security. Not only this, but there is no history of access to sites related to malware or security on either his home computer or office computer, or on them any history of development of malware. 私たちの普段の生活で指紋を一切残さないことは不可能です
、プログラム開発の場合も同様で、片山さんが犯人なら、マルウェアの開発をに用いたコンピューターに開発の痕跡を残さないことは絶対に不可能です。したがって、片山さんが犯人だとすれば、マルウェアの開発に用いたコンピューターは、物理的に破壊してしま,なししまわなければなりません。このことは、IT 専門家だけではなく、私たちにも分かることです。Within our everyday life, it's impossible to leave absolutely no fingerprints. In the same way, if Mr. Katayama were the culprit in the program development field, it would also be definitely impossible for no traces of development of malware to be left on the computer used. Thus, if Mr. Katayama really were the culprit, he must have actually physically destroyed the computer used for development of the malware. This is something which is not only clear to IT experts, but even to us. しかし、警察・検察によれば、片山さんはマルウェアの開発を物理的に破壊できない、派遣先の会社のコンピューターで行ったことになっています。そして片山さんの会社のパソコン、さらには片山さんの自宅のパソコンにも、片山さんがマルウェアを開発した痕跡は何一つ残っていませんでした。However, according to the police and prosecutors, Mr. Katayama developed the malware on the computer at the office of the company to which he was being temporarily dispatched, which of course was impossible to physically destroy. Furthermore, there was not a single trace of Mr. Katayama developing malware on either his home or his work computers. また、片山さんは江ノ島の猫に SD カード付きの首輪をつけ、その写真を撮ってメール送信したとされています。しかし、SD カードを首輪につけるために使われたセロテープから検出された DNA は、片山さんの DNA とは一致しませんでした。DNA 鑑定の結果も片山さんの無実を教えているのです。Furthermore, it is being claimed that Mr. Katayama attached the SD memory card to the cat's collar and took a photo of this and sent this. However, the DNA which was found on the cello tape used to attach this card to the cat's collar did not match Mr. Katayama's DNA. So the DNA test results are also showing Mr. Katayama's innocence in this case. Enoshima no video e z o de Katayama san wa shushi te bukuro shi te imas ga, sono toki Katayama san ga te ni shi te ita no wa smartphone des. Smartphone wa te bukuro shi ta mama de wa shashi no sa tse ga de kimasen. しかし検察官は片山さんがデジタルカメラで写真を撮影したことにして、猫の写真の撮影が可能だったと主張しています。On the video footage from Enoshima, Mr. Katayama is wearing gloves for the entire time with a smartphone in his hand. But it is not possible to take photographs on a smartphone while wearing gloves in this way. However, the prosecutors are claiming that it was possible for him to have taken the photo of the cat by using a digital camera. そもそも片山さんが真犯人なら、片山さんの逮捕後、片山さんの周辺から決定的な証拠がそれこそ山のように見つからなくてはならないはずです。しかし、そのような証拠は何一つ見つかっていないのです。If Mr. Katayama were indeed the real perpetrator, mountains of definitive evidence should have been found from his surroundings after his arrest. However, there is not a single such piece of evidence. こうして片山さんの無実はすでに明らかですが、片山さんの逮捕は4人の5人逮捕を受けてのものだったことから、捜査当局にとって、今や片山さんは何が何でも犯人でなくてはならない人物です。Thus, Mr. Katayama's innocence is already clear, yet as his arrest was the fifth made after the wrongful arrests of four other people, as far as the investigating authorities are concerned now, Mr. Katayama must no matter what be the culprit. サイバー犯罪という科学技術の発達とともに生まれた新しい犯罪の捜査で、日本の警察・検察はただメンツのためだけに片山さんを犯人にしてあげようとしています。しかし、文明国でそのようなことが許されていいはずがありません。In the investigation of cyber crimes, which are a new type of crime which has arisen together with the development of technology, the Japanese police and prosecutors are presenting Mr. Katayama as the culprit just for the purpose of saving face. However, this is not something which can be permitted to happen in a civilized country. Nippon が真に文明国であるのか否か、外国特派員の皆さんにもパソコン遠隔操作事件の裁判の行方を見守っていただきたいと思います。I hope that the foreign correspondents and press present here today will continue to follow this case and trial and consider whether Japan really can be considered a civilized country or not. Thank you very much.